Boom, baby. We are live. And today is the big fucking day. That's right. Today is the launch day for Body Language Mastery 3.0, gentlemen. I hope you're on the waiting list because after this stream is over, you will receive a link in your email and you will get the opportunity to sign up. It is only available for today, March 26th, Friday, March 27th, Saturday, March 28th, Sunday, March 29th, and then Monday, March 30th, where Modern Life March Madness is going to continue every single day in the month of March. I've been on the air, and I will continue to be on the air. How is it going, everybody, today? We are getting ready to roll. The sign-up is going to be happening after this show. After I show you guys how terrible the average man is with game. Today, what we're going to see is seriously mind-blowing for me. If you're a guy who understands game and understands women and you're in the red pill sphere, you are truly amongst the elite of men. And if you don't understand, then I don't know what to say. You're going to be S-O-L, which means shit out of luck. Um, I cannot explain how valuable this course is, okay? So real quick, for you guys that are not on the waiting list yet, now is your chance, okay? You're going to go to Modern Life Dating dot com forward slash body language okay you're gonna click on this link right here it says sign up to get on the mailing list click on this link it's gonna redirect you and it's gonna put your best email address in here click the subscribe button and you will be on the list if you are not on the list go and get on the list right now this is gonna get you the entire year of coaching with me, okay? This gives you a head-to-toe breakdown of the female body language that shows you if she's sexually interested or not, okay? 100% access to all the previous webinars from quarter one to quarter four that we did um, in 2019. Uh, it's quarter... And then you also get access to the live daily webinars, Q&As for quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. This is the best time to get in. 160 hours of total coaching, okay? Rolo's gonna be in there. Rich, Ryan, Donovan, the whole nine yards, all of the top speakers are gonna be in there. You also get access to Hot Dude Con, where you get to come out there and meet me. And you get access to the men's only Facebook group that lets you connect the top level men in the community in order to expand your network of power, knowledge, and authority. Again, the webinar login is like right here. If you take a look at the webinar login, uh, you just, well, let me log in here privately because it's a private login for all the members. It's members only, okay? You can't get in if you're not a member. And let me go ahead and put this in there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, it's fucking internet slow. All right, but anyways, you get access to uh, the entire database of webinars. I've already showed you guys that. Uh, give me, tell me, can you guys hear this? If I want to play this webinar demo, can you guys hear what's going on here? Can you hear anything? Nothing. All right, yes, yeah, it's because I'm going through StreamYard. Um, yeah, the webinars are are phenomenal. Um, the the entire thing we got going on there is seriously. There's nobody in the in the manosphere ever doing it like this. Here, I got I got this. Let me go. Okay, tell me, can you guys? hear this you should be able to okay hold on
Really? Let's see. All right, well, let's see. Okay. Oh, well, you'll be able to get into the entire uh, database of things we got going on there with Body, Lang body Language Mastery. For sure. Uh, let's say what's up to everybody in the chat real quick. How's everybody doing today? Uh, let's go ahead and see what's up to Chris F., Rafi Rahman, Ben Swizzleberg. Uh, Sil Silverwig, uh, Dreadly One, John P, Red Pill Mambra, Matt W, Angelo, what's up? Red Pill Mambra says, when do the webinars start again? They start April 1st. We're jumping right into it. As soon as enrollment's over, we're going straight into the webinars. Hi, man, what's up? Red Pill Mambra says, 100% signing up after the show, getting a year worth of training. Good shit. Uh, Mask Geek, I cut off. Yeah, I was on. I know. Uh, can you guys hear me now, or is there no audio from me as well now? Oh, no, there, yeah, there's audio. There's audio from me. Oh, you guys are fucking throwing me off today. Um, anyways, yeah, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get an enrollment thing, and it's gonna be in your email box. Do not worry. You're gonna be good to go i'll tell you who's not good to go oh boy oh boy oh boy oh these people that we are gonna see today are just fucking there's no hope man there's no hope for these guys but there's hope for guys like you because if you're sitting around watching this kind of content i'm telling you your life is just going to get better and better and better. It is like, it's, it's, it's fucking almost, it's idiot proof how much better your life is going to get. Like, there is just no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Um, the, 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 the amount of guys out there that are the competition, it's truly a laughable joke. It's truly a truly a laughable joke. I mean, these guys, these guys could not game themselves out of a paper bag. They could not game anything to save their life. And I understand, like, you guys have to realize this now more than ever. Women want men. Women want a manly man, a dominant man, okay? Women watch my show in secret to watch and understand what men that are high value like myself and you guys are trying to do, okay? That's how, like, desperate they are to find a quality man. And really what's going on is that, like, there's just, a, there's just such a lack of quality men out there that women have become jaded because all these men are so friggin' um, beta male that women just assume that you're going to be a beta too. They just assume that's why like you guys can't be friggin' go around and like like you know half assing your way trying to get uh go about like seducing a woman. Cause if you if you do it in a in a half ass way, if you kind of tiptoe around, you're like, oh hey, I was kind of wondering, baby, like, you know, the stars aligned and like you're my pumpkin pie and all this shit, they're gonna be repulsed by you. Okay. They're gonna be extremely repul repulsed by you. And to top it off. They're going to just think you're a fucking weak beta male and then they're just going to leave and they're going to move on to another guy that is going to be the one for them. That is the reality of the game. That is the reality of what's going on. Okay. There is no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Right now, there is because you have to realize women are swarmed every single day with some supplicating beta in their text messages, in all of their garbage. And it's it's letting them like they like in their Facebook and in their Instagram and in their Snapchat and their Twitter and their fucking LinkedIn on their OK Cupid on their Tinder okay everything all of this shit there are they're getting bombarded nonstop by beta males because most beta males are weak little cowards who stay on the internet and they can't really you know they can't communicate with a woman in real life they don't have the balls to uh to to make an approach. 
And what happens is that fucking these chicks, they get so jaded that they just think all men are like that. And then when you walk up to them and talk to them, they think, oh, guess what? It's just another dopey idiot who is in my fucking DMs trying to make some shit happen. And then guess what happens? You don't get the girl. You don't get the girl. And then guess what happens? She just moves on. She moves on. And she can, And this is another reason why like endless amounts of chicks are just getting dicked down and dicked down and dicked down. But they're not finding quality dudes. That is a huge thing right there that a lot of like PUA experts are not, they're not fucking, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know anything in regards to that. They don't, they, they don't know if they're coming or going. They don't, they, they just have no fucking idea. They're all full of shit. So, um, again, with body language mastery launching today, here we go. I got the, I got the, 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 the page up. So take a look here. These are all the, this is the access you get to all of the um, webinars. You get access to webinar database of quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. And then um, for quarter one, two, three, and four of this year will also be added to this page. So then you'll have a database of literally 200 hours of red pill content. And remember, I'm always getting censored by YouTube. I'm always getting completely throttled and and censored by YouTube. You guys aren't receiving notifications. YouTube does not want this out because if there's more red pill men, the whole scam of the, and it's really just a financial scam, it's all over. They cannot stop you once you're enlightened. And once there are enough people enlightened, they can't. So that's the big thing that um, that we offer with Body Language Mastery is behind the scenes, you get you, there's no censors. You could say whatever, you can do Whatever you fucking want, you can say whatever you want. You're not going to get judged. It's a it's a hundred percent a community for men, by men, and I'm telling you, this thing is is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, that being said, don't forget to go. All right, mobile gamers with the thirty Indian rupees, I believe. Donated through the super chat. Thank you so much. If you want to make a donation, click on that link right there. Streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. 100% of the donation goes towards me. Whereas these donations here, I only get a portion of them. 30 rupees. What's that in American dollars? Uh, John, are there travel restrictions to and from Japan? I planned a trip for the second week of April and thinking of canceling. I have travel insurance. Nope. As long as you're good to go, you're good. Uh, if you come now... Uh, you're going to not have to deal with the armies of Chinese tourists. So it's actually not a bad time. Uh, Rick Torres, good morning. What's up, man? So let's get right into it. We're going to talk about a special thing we got going on today. We're returning to our favorite show in the entire world. We're going back here to Jubilee. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What are we going to do? Like, let's just get me off the screen and let's make this full screen here. This is 15 men compete for five women. And guys, I just can't believe this is what men have become. Rick Torres, you're probably going to throw your phone through the window of your car. I mean, it's just so terrible right now. Is the state of men is just a complete joke. But the good news is, if you have your things figured out, if you got your money, your muscles, and your game sorted out, man, oh man. Plus, if you can read body language, dude, the opportunities are endless, guys. The last thing I care about right now is getting pussy because I've mastered it. I've been with over 200 women and I'm only 34, okay? I've fucked so many girls. I've had sex with so many fucking hot girls. I've forgotten more girls than the average guy has fucked. I was scrolling through Facebook the other day. I saw a girl, I was like, oh shit, I forgot I had sex with her. It's just all a sexual blur right now, okay? Um, This is gonna be insane. 
Uh, take a look at what we're going to see here today. This opening statement alone is is just this guy right here on the left hand side. This this uh, this little the guy, you know, suffers a little bit from small man syndrome, so he has to talk a lot. But this guy is what you call a vibitarian, and he only eats plants that give out a positive vibe. No, I am not joking. Check it out. In my nomadic journey, I actually used to live out of my Subaru, being okay. free spirited, rather than just adhering to the social structures, the hegemonies of society. Do you guys use dating apps? On and off. Yeah. I definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. let's take a look. Let's take a vote in the chat here, real quick. We're gonna vote on these chicks, okay? What stops you guys um, from doing let me get back. The weirdos. Okay. Of society. Okay. So, starting from the top, one, two, three, four, five. Which girl is the one that you choose? Vote there in the chat right now. One, two, three, four, or five. Which girl is the girl you choose? All right. So, Moan. Moan says three. Okay. Moan says three. All right. Cody says two. Moan says three and four. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lero says three. Brandon says two. Matt W says middle girl, which is three, Matt. Spencer says four. Oh, God. John P says two. Uh, Red Pill Mama says three, and not it's not even close. Spencer changes his mind now, says three. Hyman says four. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Flow Master says two and four. My man. <laughs> Matt W3. Ben says one. Giovanni says two all day. Chris Wilson says two. Edgar says four, maybe. <laughs> Steve Bowen gives the correct answer. Would tap all. Congratulations, Steve. You're the winner. <laughs> Rafi says two. Will B. Freeman says three. Chris F. says two. Meant three. Jay Miller says one, two, and three. Andrew says three or two. Good stuff. Rick Torres says four. Rick, I know you like those big girls. Two is my second pick. Three, four, one says Hyman. Five, uh, uh, Casey Danny says five. Nice body, ugly feminist hair. Agree. Dan Hamlet says three. One, two, three by Jay Miller. Just got here. Two and three, says Esten. Right on time. Rafi says two gets my <laughs> hard. <laughs> uh, Sass says two. Casey Danny says one and three. Giovanni says let's throw four in the mix. Rick says I wouldn't kick any of them out of bed. <laughs> Scott just got here. Two and three. Uh... Not sure if four has big ass to compensate the front. Morgan W says two. Ma Flowmaster says three is too masculine. Five does have a nice body. Yeah, but she ruined it with that fucking super short haircut. It's just not my thing. Uh, Yeah. So for me, my choice obviously is number two. And then for after that, I would go with number one. And I'll tell you why. Nobody chose number one. Oh, wait, Casey Danny chose one. A few people chose number one. I like number one, but I, we'll, we'll go into that in a little bit later here. Let's continue, okay? Listen to what these women say. Do you guys use dating apps? On and off. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely do. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's what I mean. Big Girl says, I definitely do, okay? This, look, when you see somebody big like that, okay, you have to realize a person like this has low self-control, Okay. This is a girl who indulges in pleasure. She indulges in pleasure of her eating. And then she mentions that she definitely uses dating apps. You know what that means? She indulges in sexual pleasure. But if you overindulge, there are consequences. Let's continue. Guys, don't forget to click that like button and share this out because I'm still getting throttled by YouTube. Uh, that would be phenomenal if you can share this. Thank you so much. What stops you guys from using dating apps? 
The weirdos. Fuck boys. <laughs> uh, immediately she says fuck boys and throws her hands up like she's in a rap video. Uh, she's definitely the hottest, but as soon as she opened her mouth, for me, I'll let you guys be the judge. You can't, like, feel their energy. What's the worst thing a guy can have in a saving profile? Him with a fish. <laughs> Oh god, here comes the soy patrol. <laughs> Hi. Now you gotta realize too, this is filmed in Southern California that has a uh, certain demographic of men and as i told you guys these liberal places southern california washington new york city right a lot of these places have some very very weak effeminate men who have bought into the mainstream media brainwashing you're gonna see that firsthand here hi i'm amber i'm 22 years old i collect pressed pennies 51 cents is the way to my heart <laughs> yeah. I'm Mackenzie. I'm 21 years old, and a million people I've seen me make out with a boy online. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, dude. Um, who wants to date a chick who has made out with a dude on camera and a million people have seen it? Sorry, but that's why you're single. Like, you might think it's cool to get attention, but. I mean, maybe this group of soy here, I mean, let's be honest, guys. How many of these guys you think are red pill? I honestly. Uh, the soy is real here. Good Lord. My name is Gabby. Um, I'm 20. I'm a full-time destination wedding photographer, and I'm a yoga instructor on the side, too. Um, I'm actually from Amish country, Pennsylvania. I literally have Mennonite and Amish children at my house. Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm 26 years old. I'm a social media influencer. Um, I'm single as fuck, so I'm ready to get beat up. <laughs> uh, I'm single as fuck, so I'm ready to get booed up, and then throws up the gang sign hands. Yikes, dude. Just yikes. Yikes.org. Oh, my God. Let's go down the roster. Continue. <laughs> my name is Jackie. I'm 19. I like to spend my free time at the gym. I've recently gone into that. I really like her. I mean, A, she's 19. So she probably has not been as run through as the rest of them. Um... I would say, so taking a, we're going to replay here quickly. Now I'm going to give you guys, now I have you guys look at it and you probably made your own judgments with your own mindset. So I'm going to give you a little bit of how I analyze these chicks. Okay. First, just based off their physical appearance. Here we go. Hi, I'm Amber. I'm so, so we have Amber, uh, shoulders slouched forward, right? Which is poor body language, hands in front of her, in front of her crotch. She's insecure. Uh, short hair means she probably experienced some sort of trauma or had some kind of bad relationship with men. That's why she has her hair shut short. Um, she's probably aggressive. She has a pretty weird kind of manly hobby, which is penny collecting. I don't really know a lot of women that penny collect, but I do know a lot of men that penny collect. Okay. 22 years old. I collect pressed pennies. 51 cents is the way to my heart. <laughs> if she stood up straight and had a, um, had long hair, she would be so much prettier. So much prettier. Wow. <laughs> I'm Mackenzie. I'm okay. So this girl, she has a pretty face, but she's already 21 and she's already clinically obese. Um, also wearing a lot of makeup, a, a clear, huge face full of makeup. Um, she is feminine. I'll give her that. She is feminine. She's very talkative, but like she, you, she's just this chick. I can tell has been around the block. Uh. She has just, you, this girl is dying for attention. And the first thing she does is mention, you know, at the beginning, you have to pick up on these little things. In the beginning, she's like, oh, I'm definitely on dating apps. And then she's like, she wants to tell everybody that a million people have watched her 
make out with a guy on the internet. That's like one step away from being a porn star, sweetheart. Like, that's not what high value men want to hear. I'm 21 years old and a million people have seen me make out with a boy online. <laughs> My name's Gab and look, look at the look at the look at the 19 year old. You have to catch her expression quickly, but look at her. She's kind of like, ugh. Like raises her bright eyebrows like, what the what the fuck? Why are you proud about this? Like and people have seen me make out with a boy online. <laughs> She's like, oh <laughs> okay. <laughs> My name is Gabby. Um, I'm 20. Okay, so this girl, yikes. Alright, let's look at Gabby. Gabby, um, I'm 20. I'm a full time hair touch because she's nervous. I'm a destination wedding photographer. Hand class, put it in front of her chest, also nervous. And I'm a yoga instructor on the side too. Um, I'm actually from Amish country, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I so like you might think she like looks cute surfer girl or whatever, but this hair is like dry and tattered. She doesn't take care of her hair. This is like very unhealthy hair. Look at her compared to like the girl on her right and the girl on her left. These girls actually take care of their hair. It's thick, it's full bodied. Um, it's not as damaged as her hair right now. There's a big difference there and this chick. And then she's also a yoga instructor or whatever. And so like yoga girls, typically girls who say they are yoga girls. Um, I mean, these girls claim to be free spirits and whatever, but at the end of the day, they're just lazy people, lazy and low IQ. Cause it takes a lot of effort to look good and take care of yourself compared to being you know kind of slovenly she's young so she has her um her genetic her genetics on her side right now because the younger you are the thinner you are the less body fat you have um so she she does live somewhat somewhat of a relatively healthy lifestyle but again um uh, red flags all over her we literally have mennonite and amish children at my house hi my name is victoria i'm 26 years old i'm a social media influencer i'm a social media influencer red flag holy red flag bro i mean any any time a girl has a massive amount of social media clout she's guaranteed to be single forever or eventually she's just gonna have to settle for some sort of beta male uh if you don't believe me take a look at this this is her instagram page and the red flags are all over the place okay first of all she has 837,000 followers and right off the first picture you can see okay here we go clearly we are looking for attention in the wrong place first shot non-pro non-private account clearly showing off of her cleavage right dog that's fine third photo ass photo okay i like this photo though because you can see that she's actually has like a lot of good amount of wrinkles on her face you can kind of see her right there father time's catching up with her um all these photos are heavily edited heavily doctored you know because but you know again look at this legendary edmund vmn squad hits him with the heart emoji doesn't even reply hilarious dude let's see this beta male Poor guy. I'm, I'm not going to put him on screen. Um, again, social media influencer. Now, a lot of you guys out there are like, oh, my God, she's so hot, bro. Oh, my God, dude. I want to be with her, man. Ugh. No, dude. This girl will ruin your sanity because every single day she is cracked out on dopamine checking her phone, seeing who likes her, seeing what the latest trend is, addicted to social media to the max. Also, here we have Los Angeles, California, right? Then we have Changi Airport, okay? Then we got Marina Bay Sands, okay? Then we got Uluwatu, Bali, Indonesia, okay? Girls who travel, they like to get dicked down abroad often. Okay, this chick is permanently un, like uh, unmarriage, unmarriageable, uh, not good for long term relationship. This chick will be, she will have to settle for some weak beta male and be miserably unhappy. And you know, she's gonna have to, she will cheat on him with a an alpha male for sure.
This chick is red flags, red flags, red flags. I would give her a pass. And I would make the peace in my mind that she's just going to be cheat on me and I would just cheat on her and we'd live in like some kind of fucked up relationship. But the fact that she is so Miss Ghetto hip hop wannabe talking like, oh, what's good and blah, blah, blah. I mean, this girl is like a quality man repellent. Again, does she look good? Yeah. But guess what? No matter no matter who you are in the audience, if you have sex with her 50 times, 5-0, you will eventually will get tired and fed up with her and you'll be wanting to fuck some new girl. The fucking cute girl behind this register at 7-Eleven will start to look better than this. But what you don't realize is like you still have to keep the long-term baggage, okay? You have to keep all the fucking crazy social media addiction. Her always on her smartphone. Her always putting on pounds and pounds of makeup. Her always traveling with you, wondering, oh my God, is she going to go get dick down abroad? Is she going to fucking get another guy and bring home some STDs to me, right? That is what we have here. Guys, keep in mind, I was able to break down and analyze this, and we're only within the first... One minute and 33 seconds of the video. Guys, this is going to get way, way more deeper. Okay? Uh, let's continue on. Um, I'm single as fuck, so I'm ready to get beat up. <laughs> Ugh, clean up your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is the girl that has the, like, okay. This is a girl that, in my opinion, is, she still has some red flags, but this is a girl who has probably the best chance to give you a quality relationship out of all these chicks. She's 19. She's young. Not a lot of heavy makeup. Has She's pretty tall for her age. And she's like, she is a little pudgy, right? But she says she's in the gym. So she could be molded and into a good quality woman for all you guys out there. This kind of chick right here is one with potential. Oh, hottie here. This girl is good to suck your dick in the club or, you know, meet her on a sketch Tinder hookup bang her and just disappear out of her life or just have her for your 3 a.m. booty calls. But that's it. Anything more than that, she's not, I mean, she will not bring stability and love to your life because honestly, she's 26 and single. Red flag, guys. If she's so beautiful, how the fuck is she so single? Spoiler alert, she's probably crazy as fuck. My name is Jackie. I'm 19. I like to spend my free time at the gym. I've recently got into that. She has her nails done. She has cute little hair, you know? She's tall, her posture's a little bad, but those are things that can be fixed. The rest of these chicks are complete train wrecks. Uh, now, each guy's gonna line up in front of the girl they would swipe right on. Get ready for this one, Hoop. <laughs> this is great. So, Jackie, number one, got three. Victoria got three. Gabriella got four. Mackenzie, the fattest girl out of all of them, got one. And then old G.I. Jane down here got four. Guys, there's your body positivity right there, okay? Sorry, ladies, but if you think in 2020 that quality men are going to settle down with you and you are weighing more than 150 pounds, you have lost your mind and you're going to be single for the rest of your life unless some pathetic poor beta male that you hate is going to come along and be the only one that's willing to date you and you'll take him out of pure desperation. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? It's going. It's going. I'm So she's really nervous there. She pulls her she's pulling her neck back. She looks like her eyebrows. She has her chin tucked back. She's really nervous and uncomfortable in being in charge right now. This is her natural uh feminine nature showing like she just does not like being in charge. She does not like making uh decisions. She doesn't like it at all. But at the end of the day, hypergamy always wins. Check it out. Going. 
fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. How's your day been? Oh, so we're going right now? I go for a hug? Excuse me. Did you drop something? I think it was your standards. Hi, thanks, Josh. Hey, what's up? Thanks for. Oh, did you drop something? I think it was your standards. Immediately insulting himself upon meeting her. The first thing he says to her is something to put himself down. Jesus Christ. That's your competition, guys. That is your competition. Let's take a look at old Chonkers here with her big old white shirt on to cover her belly. To going in my line? <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you for, like, making it easy for me. You know what I'm saying? Is this your first time dating three guys at once in a white void? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Favorite. Oh, my God. Hilarious joke. Somebody fucking... Look at her. Just kind of like, oh, God. What the fuck? Get away from me. I tell you, Jackie's my choice, man. Jackie's my choice. Victoria? Okay. If we had to play fuck, marry, kill, type out who you would fuck, who you would marry, and who you would, who you would, well, let's not, let's not say kill, let's say kick, kick from the chat, FMK, fuck, marry, kill, type yours out in the chat right now, I would fuck Victoria, I would marry Jackie, and I would kick Amber from the group, and Mackenzie, I'd, I'd bang Mackenzie too, because she's kind of fat, but... Uh, I feel like she would just be really good in, in sucking dick. She just looks like she sucks good dick. Number between 1 and 13. Making it easy for me, you know what I'm saying? Is this your first time dating three guys at once in a white void? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Favorite number between 1 and 13. Six, seven. seven ten. Are you free September? I forget the date. I got a wedding, so. <laughs> I have family from like small town Pennsylvania, Where? like Myers Town. Have you heard? Of oh, right there, she gave it away. Who saw that? Take a look. Just take a look at this. <laughs> I have family from like small town Pennsylvania. Where? That right there. Head tilted to the back. To the side, exposing her neck. Big eyes, open mouth. Hmm. Like Myers Town, have you heard of that? Yeah, that's not far. I'm Meanwhile, look at the guy's body language on the left-hand side. Hey, I have family from... Thumbs in pocket, low self-esteem. Hands in front of crotch. Defensive, low self-esteem. Hands in pocket, low self-esteem. This guy standing behind all of them. Doesn't care. He's like looking at the floor. Like small town Pennsylvania, Where? like Myers Town. Have you heard of that? Yeah, that's not far. I'm actually a, like an independent filmmaker and oh, a so stand-up cool. comedian. So yeah. I made you laugh about four times so far. Oh, you're I'm, counting too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you have a really good figure. Um, uh, how often do you go to the gym? Um, like five times a week. You look yeah, like you're strong times. enough to carry my emotional baggage. <laughs> okay. You look like you're strong enough to carry my emotional baggage. Jesus Christ. That guy is insulting himself two times while talking to her. Ben says he is kind of alpha. No, he is not. He looks probably like he's jacked or whatever, and he has a good haircut, but his mindset is completely off. Hey What's like a, a story or something that's like, oh, hey, I did this. For me, I once accidentally joined a cult. It was an accident. It was an accident. But I did join. Yellow is my favorite color. Oh, I was gonna try to guess your favorite <laughs> oh, shoot, color. Sorry. Shit. What's your favorite color? I'm gonna oh, guess too. Yeah. I'm in between blue and green. Like mm. I feel like that's like a standard blue. Oh fuck, it's wrong. Hell yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in the me. small talk. Yeah. A little about me. I got injured. Oh god, here we go. Here comes Mr. Life Story. And it resulted from that, I started there getting into yoga a lot more, there getting into nature, okay. getting to the little bit of kundalini yoga. So oh, kundalini. It's all holistic. Did you have you take your phone and Google this beforehand? No. No. Okay. No. No. Press, no we we press. just organically align. To eliminate someone in one minute. In one minute. Okay. Um. Do you like piano? Yes. <laughs> I do like piano. Cool. I'm a pianist. Oh my gosh, that's so incredible. I play the cowbell. Oh. Yeah. yeah I play cello for an orchestra. Oh, I love the cello. <laughs> Non-GMO? No, that's not to you though. So I, uh, going back to that one group of guys, one guy says that he's a pianist, and he's like, "Well, I play the cowbell. Well, I play the cello." 
And then this guy is thinking about going home and playing his Wii U. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is doing, but good Lord. Dude, I mean, is this what guys in America are looking like these days? Is this, is this really what's happening? No, this guy, the black guy with the, with the hair, he, he's the most alpha out of this group. He has the one, he, he, you know, he's taller because typically people are taller, are usually smarter and more high IQ, right? Because they, they look the world literally uh, from above the rest of us. Um, there's correlations with CEOs being more likely to be six foot taller or more. And um, this guy led the pack by saying, do you like piano? And she's like, yeah, I do. And then he's like, oh, I play the cowbell. Well, I play the cello. Like these guys, beta male, beta male, beta male. The most alpha out of this group is this black guy. Cello for an orchestra. Oh, I love the cello. <laughs> Non-GMO? No, that's not to you though. Dairy free. Oh, actually, no, you're right about both of those two. Who likes boba? I do. Yeah, yeah. Love to you. <laughs> Whether you call it God or the universe or source, it's still just love and like connection, social connection. She's, you know, she's running her fingers through her hair like, oh my God, shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. I can't wait to eliminate you. She's like somewhat intrigued because he's at least not as boring as the other guys. But still, she's like 50% intrigued, 50% disgusted. Connection. All right, eliminate somebody. Um, Five, four, oh. three, two. Um, I'm probably going to eliminate um, him. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, see, what you'll notice a pattern with all these guys okay, is this. Uh, I mean, there's. You know, the they all eliminate the guys that don't participate. Like this guy, he said some kind of stupid joke, right? Like, oh, do you, is this your first time talking to three guys in a white void? And then uh, in her group, you know, with... Uh, Universe or source, it's still just love. Um, him. Wait, hold on. Um, I'm probably going to... See, she eliminates him because he's not participating as much. To eliminate um, him. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. And then she eliminates him because he's not participating because, you know, if you're not going to vying for their attention, women are going to automatically think you're rejecting them and they're going to be like, okay, we'll get the fuck. I don't want to be anything done. I don't want to have anything done with you either. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, there's so many different options. Like, I don't know who it's I'm going to choose. I'm sorry. You haven't been as chatty. And there you go. Uh, look at that. All three groups, gentlemen. All three groups. She... That all the women they eliminate the guys that don't compete for them too that are that are like not even have the balls to actually speak up. So she eliminates this guy. She keeps the fucking vibratarian psycho, <laughs> but she eliminates this guy because at least why? Why do you think she guys? Here's the real thing. Why do you think that they are eliminating the guys who? did not interact with them. I want to know right now. Why did they tell me what in your opinion, why did they eliminate them? Write it in the chat. Write it in the chat, let me know. I'll throw it on the I'll throw it on the screen if you're correct. Because they are losers and not socially dominant. Incorrect. Bingo. Roberto F with the solid d W not giving them attention. Exactly. Roberto F. got it correct. He's these. Listen, guys. Women are dying for male attention these days. And more so now than ever before in history. They are dying for high value male attention. No attention. They will cut you off. Okay. Sast one too many also says no attention. Congratulations. Uh, Joel R says zero to attention as well. Congratulations, <laughs> Tom Bombadil. Good to have you in the in the in the chat there, brother Tom. God bless you. He says the non participants were waiting for their soulmates. Jesus in heaven, save us all. Oh my God. Are you guys learning something from this? Give me a one in the chat if you're learning. Give me a two if you are alpha male and you already know all this and you're just wasting time because you've already mastered money muscles in game. One if you're learning something. Uh, two if you're just king of all the alpha males and you don't, you're not learning anything. <laughs> 
We've got a lot of ones in the chat. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord and praise Tom Bombadil. Let's continue. And if you guys think you're going to be learning, if you're learning this right now, you're going to learn so much more in Body Language Mastery, which enrollment is going to be sent out in an email after this show is done. You're not going to want to miss out on that, boys. It is going to be fucking amazing. Imagine sitting down and doing this with me every single day for 12 weeks in the year 2020. Think about the man you'll become. Think about how much you'll learn. But let's continue on with this because I already know you. the smart guys, they're going to make the decision. And if you're not on the list, click on that link right there in the chat. Get on the list. The email is going out and you're not going to want to miss it. Yeah, yeah. The one in the middle. All right. It's all good. See, he, again, this guy. So this guy, uh, uh, this guy on the right, he engaged the hug. The guy on the left was super cringe, super cringe with all his terrible jokes. But he was giving her attention. And guess what? She'll take it. You have one you more oh, no. So are you sort of a free-spirited soul nomadic? Or do you like settling down and being having that balance of... Um, um, um. You can see that guy's confidence just slump down immediately. Watch, watch, watch uh, fucking Gumby here. Look at his, his, he just gets so, he, like a moment, a wave of uh, low confidence hits him. Watch him. Free-spirited soul nomadic, or do you like settling down and being, having that back? Look at that. You guys see that? Who saw that? Take a look. Soul nomadic, or do you like... Look, he, he actually goes from a very confident pose to a very, very super beta male pose. Settling down and being... See? Having that. Then he goes, shoulders rolled forward, hands crossed in front of his crotch, chin down. Those are three compounding negative, low confidence body language sec that are uh, gestures that are going to be covered in body language mastery because this one has the new section with men involved. This has positive body language for men as well. And this guy gets a wave of low confidence. I don't know what happens to him. Maybe he looked at a producer. Maybe he saw a hot girl in the distance. and he, Or he has some kind of internal demons going on. But he went from super confident to low. Maybe he felt like this vibratarian guy was connecting with her. And, <laughs> you know, that, that made him feel less confident. And this guy also on the right-hand side, a non-participant, thumbs in the pocket. You know, she got rid of the other guy before because he was standing behind them and like looking at the floor, not even participating. At least this guy was looking at her, which is a form of attention. But yeah, let's continue. That balance of um, 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 what's your favorite type of body of water? The oceans, you have the waves, they come in, come out. The moon gets affected by a lot of things. Just making up a lot of stuff so these guys don't have time to talk. <laughs> what nationality are you? I'm Vietnamese. Okay. How about you guys? That guy just said basically i have no confidence so i'm making up things just to kind of run distraction game on the other dudes i'm chinese and filipino so uh, chilipino chilipino okay. take a guess um that was that was more that was smart on his behalf because she was like what's your ethnicity he was like take a guess he was setting the terms that was like and he's a little bit more jacked than this dude but the thing is he's wearing these dorky ass glasses and his haircut is like from the 1980s I could make this guy ultra chat. I could make a chat out of this guy. If this guy's watching, give me a call. I got you, buddy. Modernlifedating.com. Send me an email or book a consultation. I got you, bro. Chinese? Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. ding, ding. So, like, um, I started working out. And it was kind of hard. So, I mean. Hopefully. Yeah, I was never fit at all. Yeah. And so, one day, I just went with one of my friends to the gym. And I was just like, let's do this. Do oh, my God. Oh, my God so funny how girls they just cannot eliminate they like they have no confidence to make decisions this is like when you ask a girl hey do you want to go here for a uh, uh like dinner or lunch or whatever and they can't make a choice they don't they can't even choose where they want to go this is it like they're just not natural leaders this is why men are most likely to be ceos this is why men are more likely to be in the military and generals and stuff like that because they are more grounded in making quick non-emotional decisions Oh my god, um, um, oh my god. Take a deep breath. <sighs> that was good on him. He was leading her, she copied, she submitted. Can I take both? Nope. Uh, One, two, three. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Again, 
gets rid of the guy who interacted her with her the least. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm eliminate you. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, bada bing. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the guy just, he knows he lost. <laughs> He's just like, oh, fuck, I stuck. He's a good sport about it. Uh, I think at this point, it was just about attraction because he's smaller than her. She's a pretty big girl, and girls want to feel uh, small when they're with a guy. And her, look, her eyes are crinkled. Her smile is genuine. Her cheekbones are rised up. I mean, everything here is showing the truth about what's going on with her body language and her choice with this guy. Okay, sorry, I have to eliminate you. Okay. You don't, nice you. you don't. Well. So, even though this freaking guy was self-defeating and, and being a dork the whole time, this guy right here, she chose, she got rid of this guy, I think because, look, he's smaller, he has these, like, guys, if you're wearing glasses right now and you're not getting contact lenses you are doing yourself a dating disservice period okay if you don't wear contacts if you're like oh i don't want to touch my eye you're a fucking pussy and you need to get over it you need to touch your eye you need to do whatever you need to do get lasik if you want to have success in the dating market every guy looks better without reading glasses than reading glasses period absolutely period Okay? And I believe on a, on a subconscious level, women look at these men and think that they're genetically inferior. Keep that in mind. Okay? To eliminate you. Okay. You don't, nice you. you don't. Well, brother. Okay, one more minute. Um, in my nomadic journey, I actually used to live out of my Subaru. Okay, why should I pick you? Why should you pick me? Yeah, I'm very susceptible to peer pressure. So whatever you say is probably going to work. I'm very susceptible to peer pressure. That's very feminine of her, actually. I don't know if you guys picked up on that, but she's actually really, really feminine because she's saying that, hey, you know what? That um, I I just can't make my decisions up. I can't do it. I you know, there's a lot of times that a, a guy will do something that I call. Let me actually let me go full screen for this. There's a lot of things that happen in the game world. Sometimes it happens to you guys, right? And I know this is because I used to think the same way. What happens is you'll be out in the world and you'll get you'll be trying to pick up chicks, right? And a guy, you'll be like getting a girl to feel you and she and you'll be like, oh man, this girl's into me. She's laughing, she's touching me, everything. But then a guy will come, what I call, and caveman her. And he'll just aggressively be there, be like, hey, what's up, girl? Ha ha ha. And just like be aggressively near her. And women are not combative. They'll just naturally go with the guy that is more likely to be, like, you know, to caveman her. Like, and sometimes these guys will just straight up grab by the wrist, like, lightly and be like, hey, come with me. I, I saw it happen the other day. My buddy Mac, there is the girl there in the club. And there was some, it was like this, the hottest girl in the club. She had like this fucking Calvin Klein bra top on, Calvin Klein underwear pulled up that you could see him past her baggy jeans. She was looking sexy as fuck. And she, some other guy was literally behind her, having his hands around her waist. And my buddy saw her, knew he was more high value than the guy she was with. And it was like, hey, come here. Give me your hand. Come with me. And he just pulled her away. Literally, she she submitted. She went away with him. And literally within ten within uh, within five minutes, they were making out in the next venue that we went to. Because we went from one venue to the next. They were making out in that venue. And then from there, moving forward, guess what? Guess what happened? Within 10 minutes, they were in a taxi, going back to his house, having wild, crazy ass sex. She didn't use a well, she didn't use a condom with him. I know it's like whatever, but I just gotta give it real to you, dudes. My buddy's like, yeah, she like wanted me to fucking you know hit it raw, and he's like, I fucked her raw all night. He's like, that bitch drained the life out of me. But the point I'm trying to say is that you know gr the guys that will that can talk and believe whatever, but at the end of the day, if you can just just, you know, be more aggressive and, and just take her. Women will naturally submit to it. Okay. Uh, Red Pill Mamba says, uh, so what if you're gaming a girl and a guy tries to do that? At the end of the day, the girl will kind of make her choice. Okay. You can kind of be like, yo, get away from her. That's girl's mine or whatever. But at the end of the day, she's going to naturally go with whatever guy makes her feel better. That's just the end of the, that's the end of the day. At the end of the day, hypergamy always wins. Okay. So that's that's what happened. This has happened to me before. This has happened to me. I've been talking to a girl, I've been hitting on her, and then some guy like was just overly aggressive and like just came in and swiped her for me. It happened to me. It happens to me before. So I mean, I I, I have to be, you know, 
Uh, and this guy says, not aggressive, be assertive. No, they were aggressive. They were aggressive. Okay? You have to realize this. Girls get aroused by male aggression. How we get aroused by female, you know, subtleness and femininity and stuff like that because it's in our DNA. Like, oh, that is so attractive. That is so sexually appealing. The same thing happens to when, uh, to women when they get experienced to our masculinity because our masculinity is foreign to them. Like how their femininity is foreign to us. It's a big difference there. And then Chesty is in the house. What's up, man? He says, amogging is part of the game. So true. Absolutely a thousand percent true. Um, Let's see. <laughs> I only wear shades or sunglasses like John. They're fire, but not hipster glasses. No, hipster glasses, in my opinion, I think that it subconsciously signals to women that your sperm is genetically weak and that you're going to produce weak children with weak eyes because that's really a genetic deficiency when you, at the end of the day. And women want well, – let's, let's, not, let's not sit around here and act like you know we're, we're all here to, to – to have sex because everybody wants to feel good. Women want strong babies. Okay, we don't choose no woman with w that like has that like looks sickly and stuff too, you know. Because we like we don't want a, a woman that's not going to give us strong children either. That's why we don't like old women, right? Because a woman gets older, she has more likely chances to produce a baby that can get have autism. I think it's like from thirty five years or older, the qual the the probability of having an autistic child goes up and up and up. So that's why genetically men like younger women, and that's like why women like stronger, more fit men, okay? They don't want weak babies. This is what, it's the offspring game. Let's go back to this and continue. You guys liking this? You liking this show? Smash a four in the chat if you're liking this episode. If one day you need to sleep with a pianist next to you, <laughs> I will be there. I just like flowing and listening to my intuition and... I will be there. I want to go back to the to, to, to vibratarian okay. guy. <laughs> All right, bada bing. <laughs> I love that guy. He gets he's just like he just like knows he's a loser. He's just like oh, okay, it's good deal with it. <laughs> okay, sorry, I have to eliminate you. Okay. You don't. Nice you. You don't. Well, brother. Okay, one more minute. Uh that was more. That was alpha of him too. He's putting his arm around the guy like and look at him. Guy right here kind of knows it. Like oh, I just got cucked. Well, he's like you know hey hey you little fucker you know. Just me and you now. This guy's very alpha naturally. In my nomadic journey, I actually used to live out of She's cringing. She's taking a deep breath, crossing her hands, looking at him like, oh, God, shut the fuck up. This guy goes back to his confident body language right here. That's covered in the course. This exact pose is covered in the course, boys. My Subaru. Okay, why should I pick you? Why should you pick me? Yeah, I'm very susceptible to peer pressure. So whatever you say is probably gonna work. If one day you need to sleep with a pianist next to you, <laughs> I will be there. So he goes with the super ultra aggressive sexual comment. If you need to sleep with the pianist, I'll be there. I just like flowing and listening to my intuition and going wherever, you know. I should pick me because I can cook whatever you'd like for me to cook for you. Oh, good I also play guitar and cello. You said you love the cello, so this guy doesn't play cello. Oh. That was a pretty bold move by him, but he went with the servitude beta role. Like, you know, you like the cello, I play the cello, I can cook for you, you can tell me what to cook. So she, you, he's offering himself up as a servant. Oh my goddess! I am going to throw up. It's so fine. Ugh. Oh, my goddess. Jesus Christ. Red Flag City. Ugh. Okay. 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 Just take a deep breath. She take knows. Breath. She knows. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to stay and talk to you because I feel like I've talked to you so much now. Uh, <laughs> she's like, I feel like I've talked to you. So she's just rational. She's a nice girl. She's just rationalizing. And woman, he's like, listen. You're too much of like a woman. She's like, you're, you're, you're like, you know, when guys like talk about all this vibe and connection and stuff like that, all these kind of guys, they're just snakes, man. Those kind of guys are weasels. And this guy's kind of looking at him like, haha, motherfucker, you lost, even though I have low self esteem. But at the end of the day, she chose the guy who was tall, good looking, you know, kind of, kind of coy, whatever. But this guy, Mr. Vibatarian, she was like, get this guy the fuck out of here. You know, right I love her when you yeah, have to no say, worries. good to hear. Have a beautiful day, my friend. Can we hug? Or? 
Oh, yeah, I'd love a hug too. <laughs> okay. How did you guys feel about the experience overall? That was nerve wracking standing there and like, who's gonna pick you? Why are they picking you? It's. Oh my God. Dude, perfect. Do Condre. Vibatarian is one of her girlfriends. That's what she's talking about, the little guy. John P said the tall guy let the let the long hair dude crash and burn. Absolutely. Absolutely. Masquerade says, I immediately knew this yoga bitch was going with the lanky guy. Bye bye, beta guy. So true. Rick Torres with the he won't shut the F up. <laughs> oh man. God. Proof that Pat Stedman game doesn't work. Oh my god. That's fucking common of the decade right there. Oh uh holy shit. Dude, good call, Red Pill Mamba. Yeah. Uh let's hear let's hear the rationalizations. Probably just based off of initial attraction, like you don't really know anything about each other right away. I mean, just being next to a pretty girl is like hot, like making me sweat enough. They're all so good. They all had so many great quality. <laughs> we appreciate that. And I feel like, what if I made, no offense, <laughs> what if I made the wrong choice? It just shows you how women are just so lack, they lack confidence. Like, what if I made the rest wrong choice? A woman could fuck Superman, roll over and think to herself, could I do better than him? Because the typical woman is just filled with, it's like in America, they've been filled with like this female empowerment. Like if you're an average girl, you deserve the best. It doesn't matter if anything, it doesn't matter if you're 400 pounds, doesn't matter if your fucking face is covered in pimples and it looks like a Domino's pizza, okay? If you're a woman, you deserve the best. And that's why you see all these women getting, you know, fucked and chucked by, uh, by alphas and having to get left to get suited up by betas. And... Unhappy women are going up and up and up because they've all been sold a lie. They've all you, they've been sold a lie. Hey, you can have it all, but men live in that harsh, cold reality where we don't get by just for the fact of our gender. We don't get by just for the fact of we are men. If anything, we get more oppressed because we're men. In America, men are kind of seen as like low key enemies by some people. So these women. They think that they like they they deserve everything, and then guess what? Next thing you know, they end up like Victoria, that girl who's twenty six years old, still single, still posting her ass and tits all over Instagram, still can't find a man to love her. You think that's ever going to change? No, sir. Do you guys think you would ever want to just hang out outside of the shoot? Yeah, definitely. I'd be down. I'd be very down for that. I'd be open. To it. That girl, this girl wants to get dicked down. Look at her. Look at her. And he has this is super confident alpha male body language right here. Okay, this right here. This is also covered in the course. We'll we'll discuss that. Look at her. She is ready. So many great quality. Not her. <laughs> we appreciate that. And I feel like, what if I made no offense? <laughs> what if I made the wrong choice? Do you guys think you would ever want to just hang out yeah, definitely. Voice goes high pitch. Yeah, yeah. I want to put his big old long dick inside my yoga ass. <laughs> down? I'd be very down for that. I'd be open to it. I mean, uh, she's not that. She's just like shrugging her shoulders, like, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I'm looking for somebody to work out with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I just don't like working out with oh, just with like other people. Uh, so maybe not that, but. <laughs> Maybe not yeah, that. Maybe you see? See this, guys? He... Okay. Look. Oh, fucking... I, I get so worked up. Okay. This is the downside of being super red-pilled. Because you see everything that the women say versus what they mean. And look look at the guy, how pathetic he is. I mean, I'm looking... Okay. Listen to this guy. He doesn't have... A, okay. This is a dating show. A dating show, guys. This is not a hold your hands show. This is a dating show. And he's such a pussy that he is afraid to go on a date with her. Look what he says. I'm looking for somebody to work out with. I'm looking for somebody to work out with. Really? Really? When Miss MLD comes to work out with me, I'm fucking hated. Because she's weak. She doesn't know how to exercise. She fucks up my exercises. 
She does not help my gym performance. She makes it worse. When I work out with another man who is stronger than me, then I'm like, fuck yeah, this workout is the shit. This guy's going to fucking kick my ass. I'm going to wake up sore as a motherfucker. I'm going to burn so many calories. I'm going to get so much stronger. I'm going to get so much more jacked. This girl didn't come here. This is not the fucking find a personal trainer show. This is a dating show. And what does this guy do? Whoa, I'm looking for a workout partner. No, you're not. No, you're not. And girls know that too. And girls hate when you're snaky and dishonest with them. Check this out. Look, she straight up shoots him down. Straight up shoots him down. And you will I'll tell you what she says in... Like Donovan says, in womanese. I'll tell you what she says. I'm looking for somebody to work out with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I just don't like working out with Over just people. like other people. Uh, so maybe not that. Maybe not that. And she's looking at him. She's like, hey. 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 Come fuck the shit out of me, you idiot. <laughs> like... That's what she wants. That's what she wants. She's like, maybe something else. But women don't talk like that. Women don't say, yeah, come fuck the shit out of me. Okay? Women don't talk like that. You only see that in porn. Real women don't do that. Okay? And this, this, this right here that I'm showing you, this is why the average woman treats the average man like shit. Because they're slammed with beta males. They are crushed with beta males every single day vying for their attention. And when a guy like me comes along and I see her body language, I see she's down and I could read in between the lines, she's getting fucked on the first date. Okay? And such valuable attention like that is so rare that they'll fuck you, no condom, no problem, in the parking lot faster than ever. Now, guys, we live in a now generation. Women want to get fucked as soon as they decide they like you. A lot of you guys suck with women. And it's because I've read your text messages. I see the way you interact with them. I see how you are physically around them. You tiptoe around. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't want to offend her. Like, you guys do this preventative pickup. Like, you feel like eventually the woman is just going to leave you. So you're, like, trying to, like, per you're, you're doing, like, a defensive game. You're, pl you're not playing to win. You're playing to lose. And that's the big thing right there that a lot of these guys do. And again, you see it in her face and her gesture. She's trying to give it to him. She's like, no, that's not what I want to do. Look at her. Look at this is the face of a girl who's attracted. She's looking at him. I don't want to work out with you. I want to do something else. Can you read in between the lines, you stupid idiot? Yeah, with Over just people. like other people. Uh, so maybe not that, but... <laughs> Yeah, me nice. Look at us. Page. Me and Mackenzie. Uh, yeah, come through. We'll like kick it by the pool or something. Yeah, I'll get a meal sometime. Okay, yeah, for sure. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, God, she's so cringe. What's happening, my friends? Let's do this. Voji, the Vibatarian. Vibatarian, they, I think they just do this to make fun of him. Those who eat food that only contain plants and positive vibes. Guys, this is your competition. This is literally your competition right here. How's it going? This going phenomenal. It's always. An excellent day, my friend. How did you feel about the experience? It was more so just like myself wanting to bring out my experiences of similarities that I see in her. I just wanted her to know about it. It was just like, yeah, it's cool though. Hi, thanks for watching this. That guy hates his life. <laughs> I mean, uh, y y to think that you're that's gonna work with women. It, it, look at that, Donovan wants. Is that a chick? No, it's a dude. A guy who's a vibatarian who only eats plants that produce positive vibrations. Doesn't eat negative vibration plants. Only positive vibrations. Only in California, guys. Only in California. And I just got I just got word of a, a special looks like we we have a special announcement uh coming in right now. Uh really quick. We got a special bulletin here coming in from looks like Oh my God, it's from the Hollywood Hot Dude. We need to check this out. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. We interrupt this episode of Interview with a Man for a very special announcement from yours truly, the Hollywood Hot Dude. Welcome back, sir. 
Oh, yeah, it's good to be back, brother. Looks like you have a new addition here. What is that about? That's right. I am now not only the United States hot dude champion, but I'm actually the world hot dude champion. I am looking too good. Let's, ta let's take a look a little closer here. Look at that. Oh, I've got gold on my neck. I've got gold on my wrist. I've got gold on each shoulder. Oh, I'm cold like a boulder. Looking pretty good there. Uh, is this for any reason in particular? Well, it all started when I started getting some coaching from Jonathan from ModernLifeDating.com. Ever since I got coaching from him, all I do is win. I eat, I win. I sleep, I win. I shit, I win. All I do is win. And if the fellows out there want to become a champion like you, what can they do? That's a goddamn easy question. You just go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. You get on the waiting list for Body Language Mastery 3.0. You're going to get three intense weeks in quarter one, three intense weeks in quarter two, three intense weeks in quarter three, three intense weeks in quarter four. It's a no-brainer! And from what I've heard, that's coming out on March 26th. Is that correct? That's right, March 26th. I'm going to go get ready for that right now. Just taking a look. Woo! You heard it here first, folks. March 26th. Mark your calendar. Guys, what can I say? I coached the two-time champion. If you want to be a winner, now is the time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The doors are going to be open for body language mastery as we start off the year 2020 with greatness. You're just going to go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language, scroll down, click on this link right here, and then scroll down, put your email address in right here, hit that subscribe button, and you will receive a notification to sign up today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for free consultation Friday. Until then, peace out.